now let's look at a multiple combination circuit controlling a couple of different things. Now this is really, really important because this shows you how we relate things that have two outputs to a digital circuit. So first let's look at the combinations that we've created. I've created a number, I have the same combination that I had in the previous video, uh, which I'll link down to the bottom, where it's A or B and C. Okay, and that is represented pneumatically right here, A or B and C. Okay, this will extend the cylinder out. Now notice that this logic here, this has one output, which is why we have a digital circuit here that is one output. Okay, now I've put the I put the you know A B C so you could see how those relate over. Okay, now to get the cylinder to retract, we have to have a whole other logic set. Okay, and so this guy reversed the combination logic to where it's D and E or F. Okay, so to get it back, I could just hit F, just like I could hit this and light up the output here. Okay, here's my actual diode, which is the output. In this case, we're calling it, it would be like a solenoid two, I guess. Um, or I could have D and E. Okay, now notice how I did this here. So um, in this case, I wired these in series. I didn't use an AND gate because it works the same, at least schematically. Out in the field, there are some considerations you want to make to if you needed to use an AND gate or not. Typically, it's just a distance issue. So here I put D and E. That will get this. This will light up and this would have retracted the cylinder. Let me show you. So I will activate A and C will activate this, and then I will deactivate this. Now D and E will retract it. So the retraction portion here is represented by this circuit here. So each output here, or each uh, you know uh, pneumatic control for the directional control valve, has its own set of logic. Students really, new students really struggle with this when they're trying to convert digital logic to like a pneumatic circuit or a motor control circuit. So let's take a look at this. So here I have the digital, I have the digital equivalent of the relay circuit. So here's a industrial ladder diagram. Okay. So here it's C. So it's A or C and D will extend the cylinder out to retract it, which would be this logical set here. This pneumatic set here would be D and E or F. So it's F will retract it. I'll extend it out again. Or D and E will retract it. Okay? And then I have to de -engage, I have to disengage these to get the cylinder to extend again when it's A and C or B and C. Okay, and so there's so many different ways to look at combination circuits and how they work. And so, uh, you know, this is just trying to take what we've learned in digital when we start to combine circuits to create a specific logic for an output. That's what all this is about. I need this output to behave properly. All right, and so this is how we can take what we learn in like a digital fundamentals course, convert it over to a uh, pneumatic logic or a uh, industrial ladder diagram right here okay using the same logic again all of these operate the same it's just what they're controlling is different and this is really important when we're going from like pneumatic logic control to um, motor control circuits uh, industrial ladder diagrams or plc's okay being able to make that combination and convert what we've learned in uh, digital fundamentals to the real world. Okay, so I hope this video helped explain. This is a this is the fourth in a series that I'm doing. So if you haven't watched these, you might want to go back. Uh, I break these down with the AND gates, ORs, and then I have another combination video here. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you like the video, please hit like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much.